look, you got two different deals. You have the cart pad, and you have pads of water. Cart pad Brad is Gregory is going to help out right here. As you see this predictor for Jordan Speed. From the catch of water, which, right. you know, it's. Look, if the, right here. If the, Jordan, let me, I gotta ask you a couple questions. If the catch of water wasn't here, and the ball was just sitting here on the cart path, what would you do? What would you do here? What, would you play this direction? If, if, if the ball was sitting on the cart path, yeah, right and there's there. no water here, you I don't have a shot from there, so right. I do Okay, I understand. You're going to play. I would be playing. You're going to be playing this direction. Yeah. That's all I need to know. Okay. Yes, sir. So basically, what we need to do is take our club that we would be playing that direction. Okay. And let's see where we fit here. Marshall. Yeah. Point seven hole. You good? And again, we have to take complete release. So let's start with your feet on this side. And again, your toes couldn't touch, so, More. you know, wood, if the ball was sitting here, could you, could you get your feet on that side, or would you still no. be in the water? I would still be in the water. Okay. So, really, the nearest point of the lead is right here. It's going to be here. Now, we've got a driver and move some right, to move it over that way. And technically speaking, this is a separate puddle. Correct. You know, they aren't connected. So, this would so, be the nearest point. Yeah, I'm going. Yeah, yeah. And it's still steep with water visible, so I'm going to go right here. Okay. And then I can measure the driver that way. Yeah, and we'll see uh, what happens. Let's go get a really hard edge. Go through hard edge. We know we're going to take the lead. Let's try to lift the ball. Okay. We don't move it. So there's the thing. So it's right right here. Actually, it's right there. Yeah, I just don't know if we're going to be able to fit our stance in this way. You understand what I mean? Yes, but I can drop it here. That original stance, the swing direction of play, that we would have played from that original position, we're going to apply here. And so if the ball were positioned here, would our stance still be in that puddle? And I have a feeling it would be. Yes. So, I either have you to know, go back. It's just a club length with, in any... Right, in any direction. You can go backwards. Well, if I'm right here, right, and if I'm, I'm not here. Well, is your no? Okay, yeah. I, I, we can go there, right? So yeah, go ahead and put it here. there. Say right there. Okay. Right. So if I go here, and I say I drop it, and it goes into this puddle, that's now a new puddle to take relief from. Maybe. If I'm not standing in this, that, that would then be, it would be a new puddle. That would be the issue. Okay, so we're going to try it. Let's see. All right. We're going to have to drop it very near that tee. Yeah. <laughs> and again, the question is, would we be standing on the cart on, in that puddle right. from here? Well, I'm not sure. It doesn't look like I'm in that puddle right there. Okay, with that original stance. Correct. Way. Okay. Um, that's technically but, in but, it, but, but I'm cert standing. certainly we we would yeah it went to a position where we'd have interference again. Correct. So, so it's a we're going to redraw. Yes, okay. we can lift clean it. Yeah, that was there the best drop I've ever done. Okay. <laughs> 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 right, 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 right. right. So what we're going to do is try to try to place it there. And again, once you let go, we'll see. See what happens. It's unbelievable. All right, Jordan. All right, Jordan. So it's right there. That's, that's good. That's where it landed. So yes. you can remove the T. Okay. And the question, the problem is, yeah, do we have to, we have to, I want to get my clubs. It's close. It's close, isn't it? You, know, you, can't really really, close. you can't really manipulate your feet. Yeah, no, I, I get it. I get it. I'm not trying to. I'm I just trying to settle in here. I mean, yeah. See, the, the, the problem is that's that's still in it. It's, I think okay. you're still in it. All right. So. So we got to go further back. We're going to have to go further back, but we're still working really. Yeah. We didn't drop it in a correct position. Yeah, I agree. Now. You know, I think I think if you went a club length here, 
track. You know, where you get your feet going, <laughs> maybe over there on the railroad tie. So right here. All right, my main ball measures is here, and I can always drop it on the other side of that. But yeah, but yeah, from right there, that's kind of that original position. I think. Yeah, I, I get it, but I'm just putting the feet down. It doesn't really matter where I put my feet on. Right. Okay, I think we're good. And now I could still take car path relief. If you want to take car path, what relief, would be the yes. nearest point? You're, good. you're still going to be here. going versus there, and you're going to be going right here. Okay. So this ball's in play. Yeah. Just make sure we have complete relief when you when you before you strike this ball with this with this puddle right here. Everybody's trying to get about 20 feet, right? Let's need everybody to put the cell phones away. Cell phones away. Please respect the player. Yeah, I think we're on George. Yeah, I, I think we've got to go. Oh, there's all these bad George. Right. So re-drop? Yes. But we have still, this is still the first drop. We haven't really... We've got to stay within a couple of different I got you. I'm thinking right at there. At least there. See, I think we're beyond the coupling. That's not beyond the coupling because that's still in casual water, isn't it? The club length is measured from here. Yeah, yes, sir. It looks here. like a driver. That's in the club length. No, no, but, but it landed outside the club length. Oh, okay. It's got to land inside the club length. It has to land inside. It yes, can't work. Yes, sir. Yes. But where did it land? It landed back here. Oh, okay. And roll. I don't know about you, this is kind of difficult to really do. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's, it's interesting. Okay, that would be a redrop. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought it was a drop. Well, I think so. I'm trying to drop that in so. here. <laughs> right. You know, it just depends. Michael, will you drive this one? So right in here is where we're looking to drop it? I, I think that's within a club length. I think you have... Okay, so let's let's place it here. Okay, let me try it again, please. And then see if... I'm, right, right there, and then see if our stance is good. Our toes. I mean, because I'm, I'm in now at this angle because of, because of this, these branches. So what you're saying is you think you've now got a different direction of play. Correct. Starting because point. it's further on this side versus over there. I couldn't but drop it in here and no, let, you didn't let me do the this. Just good. set up with the original. Okay. With the, you know, just with the original direction of play from right here. The original direction of play, which would have been for the whole, right? Correct. Is that okay. clear? Yes. So technically, I think I think we've got relief from the original stance swing direction of play. Okay. Now, since the tree is interfering more here, where we have to start the ball to the right of the flagstick. Now, just because our foot is a little bit into there, I think we've look, we've satisfied the rule because we've taken relief from the original stance swing direction. Okay. So I think you're okay with just a toe in. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm okay with this. We're good. Thanks. Thank you. You guys all awesome. Okay, Billy, so all of that, Brad Gregory working all through this with Jordan Speed. They're already on the clock a hole behind. Give us a quick summary of what just transpired there. Well, taking relief from casual water on the cart path, that was that was the concern. And if he was going to take relief from the cart path, then he would have to go further left. So the relief that he took was from the casual water. But as we, as we said earlier, you must take full relief from casual water. And that's why it was such an intricate drop that if that left toe was touching the water, then it wasn't full relief. So that's why there was the concern about that left foot where it was positioned. Even though it wasn't directly in the water, if the toe was just tapping the water, that was not full relief. So he had to make sure that he took full relief from the casual water. All right, so he is finally ready to play his second shot at the seventh. We're going to catch up here with BK. Other two players have already played. We'll show you those in a moment. Yes, yeah, Sergio made a great birdie up at the eighth that you'll see. Uh, Bubba's on the green now at the ninth. 
<laughs> they have moved on. Get it was complicated. A bat. He got it out clean after all of that. And then it's too much. Yeah, rolls it's up and down. over the green. If that's up against the fence, he's going to need another drop. All right, so all of that. Well, there is, uh, there is out of bounds over this green.